This tractor sat out for a whole year with gas in the tank. So when I went to get started up the other day, I was expecting to have trouble with the carburetor because of the gas I left in the tank. But when I turned the key, there wasn't any noise at all. No click, nothing. Just dead as a doornail. Last year when I did some work on this tractor, this switch fell apart. And I had it taped up. This is the switch for the brake. If you don't step on the brake, when you turn the key, nothing happens. What I did, I had it all taped up. And every time I went to start the tractor, I didn't put it back underneath. I just pressed it down. It would start. I let it go. And I just let it sit here. So I made the mistake. And I assumed it was the switch. I was playing around with it. And I couldn't get it to do anything at all. And again, I'm assuming it's this switch here. Because this is what I had the problem with last year. Well... I thought this would come apart because it had one of these tabs over here. I couldn't get it apart at the time. I couldn't get these wires out because you have to press it from the other side. I end up cutting it. Still nothing. Now what do I do? I destroyed the switch I'm going to have to replace. And I needed to cut the grass. It's funny. A couple of weeks ago, I was getting a snowblower ready for a storm that's coming down. And this week... I had the grass was like six, eight inches tall. I had to cut this lawn. And then again, and about half of this size in the back. And I wanted to cut it before it started really getting bad. So I did something that's unadvisable. I took the engine cowling off and I disconnected the kill switches. I jump started the engine by using this battery pack, put a hot lead on the uh, starter, grounded it off, turned the key, started right up, cut the grass. Can't shut it off when that happens. You don't have any safety. If, it if you fall or it rolls over, this machine will keep running. How to get that grass cut. Very unadvisable thing to do. So, following day it <laughs> started snowing so today is two days later and here I am I checked the solenoid and the solenoid works what I did was to connect the ground lead to the solenoid and a hot lead and when I when I touch it it clicks Okay, and the way this solenoid works is like this. This terminal gets energized, the starter motor spins, this gear spins the flywheel, which starts your engine. The current to energize this starter motor comes from your battery. Your battery is connected to a switch called the solenoid. You can see this power line ends at this terminal. And there's also another line that comes down, usually connected by a fuse, to the starter switch. Once you turn the key, current flows through this wire to this terminal on the solenoid. This solenoid has four posts. This post here is grounded by a wire to the mower. On the three-post solenoid, you just have these two on top and one on the bottom, and the solenoid itself is grounded to the mower. Once this current comes up to this terminal and the solenoid gets energized, there's an electromagnet on the inside, which pulls a plate up that connects these two terminals internally. So you'll have current coming from the battery to this post, to that plate, to this post, across to your terminal on the starter, and your starter will spin. Once you release the key, the solenoid is no longer energized. That plate drops down. It breaks the connection between these two posts, and your starter stops spinning. Clamp them together, unclamp them. From the way it looks, that switch, when you step on the brake, it looks like it separates the contacts because it looks like normally open, normally closed. I couldn't figure it out. And I went through everything that I could think of. And finally, I pulled out this key switch. None of the posts are labeled. 
Normally they have a letter on them or a number. Couldn't find a wiring diagram for this. Took it in sign. Let me show you what I found. Bad underneath. There isn't any rust on these blades. They have these cobwebs. This has been outside for a year. But I don't see any uh, letters or numbers stamped on the blades or on the disc itself. I'm going to take this outside, clean it all up in here with a toothbrush and some gas to get all this off. And once I do, I'm going to turn that switch to the run position, start position, to see that I have continuity. Once I'm done with that, I'll be back in. I found that this terminal right here, this is the ground terminal. If you look, you can see that this terminal is touching this outer rim and this grounds it out where none of these other ones are touching the outer rim. I turned the key, I found that there wasn't any conductivity to the terminal that goes to the solenoid. So all along, it was this key switch that was bad. It had nothing to do with the safeties or anything else. For whatever reason, the key switch isn't making the contact on the inside. So this has to be changed. Now that I know it's not sending power to the solenoid, I tried something else out. Let me connect this and show you what I did. I have this jumper pack connected to the battery cables. I have the solenoid disconnected from the wiring that belongs in there. And if you can see it, I have the ground connected to one post. The key switch in the arm position, the battery pack on, and now when I touch the solenoid, so everything on this tractor is working. The problem was with the key switch all along. Again, I assumed it was that switch. What a mistake that was. If I did the normal procedure and checked everything where the power was coming from, if I checked if there was power coming to here, and so on I could have saved on that switch so now I have to replace that switch although the track that does run with those wires disconnected it's just that there's no safety so if you turn the key once this is replaced without stepping on the brake this engine will turn over if you have any questions let me know by posting them down in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video or found it useful give it a like it helps tremendously. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. Hit, hit that Joe Z button. And be sure to hit that bell icon not to miss my new videos as I upload them. I wasn't going to do a video on this, but I haven't seen any videos on a snapper situation like this. I looked to see if I could find any help. Couldn't find any. So again, if this helps you at all, let me know. And until next time, happy mowing and be safe.